I took every enemy in Elden Ring and doubled them, including every single boss. This means double Fire Giant, double Radagon, double Melania, and even the Godskin Quadro. My goal is to beat all Remembrance bosses. Let's do it. Make sure to subscribe to not miss runs like this in the future and follow me on Twitch to watch live. Riley Reed. <laughs> I mean, it's not perfect, but it's what we're going with. What am I taking? Probably a seed. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm good, dog. The first goal that I have for this run is to get the Death's Poker, one of my favorite weapons in the game. It drops from a Deathrite bird in Kaled, and they're very weak to holy damage. So I bought most of the crafting materials for holy water pots from Kale and gathered the rest from Jarberg. Along the way to Kaled, I picked up the Physic, Charged Attack Tear and Talisman, both Dectus Medallions, and Radigan's Sore Seal for my first Talisman. Now to take on the Deathrite bird. So that didn't work, but there's more that I can gather to help. The Meteorite Staff and Rock Sling are very strong ranged options early game. The Faith Tier will let me do a little bit more damage with the Holy Pots, and the Intelligence Tier will let me wield the Meteorite Staff and Rock Sling without having to level up. Uh, also have a limited amount of FP. Ah, uh, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> Wait, what, what the fuck did I jump back for? Maybe I should like level my FP a little bit. Maybe that makes my life easier. Do I have to kill both to get something? Okay. FP is restoring. Don't worry. That is not the problem there. All right. Need that and that and that and that. And then. Beautiful. Plus four. Absolute juicer, bro. Okay. Here we go. Bing. Oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah. These foolish ambitions to rest. See, bro. Oh my fuck god. Got, we got it down. I had to eat. Had to eat a little bit. But that don't matter. Oh my Jesus. Fuck. You know, you, you would think intuitively my mind would have been more opposed to this idea given how much I hate gank fights. But here I am. Here I am doing this shit. There might be one thing that, that I can do very easily that'll make this a lot easier. Maybe. Uh-huh. Okay, this is the max poise I can have with medium load. Let's go see if we can tank through shit. Oh my god. Oh 
Well, that was unlucky. You may have noticed I up my fashion game in this video, and that's thanks to Project Orochi. They're a streetwear clothing brand inspired by Japanese mythology and art. A lot of their designs are references to various video games. They sent me this turtleneck sweater with the grace design on the chest, which is just a reference to Merica getting hung up on the Elden Ring, this hoodie with Wolf from Sekiro using Jutsu on the back, and my favorite design, the Aramusha t-shirt. I don't even know what this design is a reference to, but it just looks so damn cool that I'm in love with it anyway. If you're a closeted gamer and just want some regular designs, they have that as well, like this rising dragon piece of art and the various floral designs. Project Orochi is a huge supporter of the channel, so go pick up some amazing streetwear with free shipping in North America. Follow them at instagram.com slash Project Orochi for monthly giveaways and new designs, and use code MAIDENLESS for 10% off your order. Thank you to Project Orochi for sponsoring this video. To improve my build a little bit, I want to add Rotten Breath to get the Scarlet Rot effect. The easiest way to do this is by bleeding Grayol and Dragon Barrow to get five Dragon Hearts buying the spell from the church and picking up the dragon communion seals from the hero's grave in the starting area. Because the dragon communion seal drops from an enemy, I actually get two of them on this run. This allows me to double dip on the dragon communion spell buff that the seal provides by dual wielding them. Okay, this should be fun. Think that's gonna go far enough. A little bit ambitious. I seem to be getting absolutely fucked clowned on here. Wait, I thought I thought we had to get through their whole health bar to get them to phase transition. I didn't realize. Huh. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's not what I want. <laughs> Primarily want to focus on that guy. Want to get him dead first. That'll make my life a whole lot easier. Let Scarlet Rot kill one of them. Good. All right. Love to see it. Wait, did you see that? It wasn't eating stamina. Does the game not think that I'm in a combat encounter? Guess not. <laughs> so let's just see what Rinala's fight is like. Rinala might be <laughs> disaster. Just in case I need this armor, I'll grab it. I don't think I will need it. But just in case. Well, good morning, sunshines. Fuck. Right. Oh man, they have really high magic resist. Come on. That really poise breaks me. Fuck. Let's go get Flame of the Red Mains. There it is. You. Okay. There's two of them, so we gotta do it again. 
quitting out doesn't respawn enemies, does it? Oh. Thank you. Um, awesome. Okay. I actually got both of them rotted. That wasn't bad. I'm literally just fucking constantly spamming roll. <laughs> oh, Jesus, bro. How are you not dead? Dude. Oh, wait. It is dead. I, I thought it was this other one. Okay. Now, no choking. No choking allowed. Oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Okay. Dude, what? Excuse How is that not a repost? <laughs> no. No. Stop. Stop. Oh, thank fuck. Wait. Is Moongrum not doubled? Excuse me, sir. You seem to be poisoning through my shit. Not appreciated. Oh, fucking Christ. I'm running up against a pillar. Okay. You know, Moongrum's dead. That's all that matters. Can you stop? Okay, so is there two individual sets? Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. She was already on the floor. I didn't know where the other one was. Okay. Uh, I hope this is the weaker one. Yes. Okay. Good. And it doesn't do a phase transition until we kill both of phase one. All right. Okay. There we go. That didn't give them rot. Oh no. Okay, how much how much poise do they have? How much stance? Instead of Runala as my second shard bearer, I will try to beat Rikard. This means that I have to get through two godskin nobles first, though. Fortunately, they're very weak to sleep. So I gather the cookbook, mushrooms, and Trina's lilies for sleep pots. Okay, that was a little bit too far. Oh! So a tiny bit too far, but still clean. Okay, uh... What do you fucking mean? What do you mean? Dude. You're supposed to stop rolling! What the fuck? He does not give a shit. Did they patch this? Wait, it bounced off and fucking hit this guy? What is that? <laughs> oh, come on, brother. Can I just sleep him again? Why are you awake? God damn it, Kate. Okay. I need, I need to upgrade the weapon, bro. Sick. All right, now we're ready to go take on the double fat. Nice. That's fucking slick. Okay. 
much better on the damage front. Very nice. Love to see it. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's let's forget about the rotten breath. gonna want to go upgrade the serpent hunter now we need to go here bing bang boom <laughs> fuck me dude <laughs> oh jesus christ there's another option <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, it's better. But this is still not... Like, just winning. Second one was not dead. Oh, it's still gonna be rolling around. I see, I see, I see, I see. I understand. Again, the the game doesn't think I'm in combat. Or the mod doesn't think I'm in combat. Okay, I don't... Th this seems like it's doing no damage. I think it's also bugged for that reason. Like, it's not giving me the, the damage boost anymore. Okay. Three Sentinels are the next boss fight. Along the way, I picked up Godfrey Icon from the Everjail, it's not useful for the current build, but I will be using it later. I was thinking that fighting these guys head on might be difficult since they're so fast, but I gave it a try anyway. It did not go very well. Fortunately, I have a backup plan. I brew up the stinkiest fart of all time that's capable of killing two dragon paladins and their horses. I think this is gonna poison both of them. Definitely should. Yes, nice. That's nice. Jump! Ooh! God damn it. Fucking roll buffer, dude. Ah, oh, God, Jesus Christ. Good. Really? That was too close? All right, cool. I don't know why I did that. Stupid to go for that trade, but whatever. I should probably go get Margit Shackle. Wait. He dies? 
If you kill a right guard, he dies. The issue is I accidentally transitioned one of them. I'm pretty sure the shackle doesn't work anymore, right? Yeah. I thought not. That's nice. No. No, no, no. Okay, good. There we go. That's good. Love to see it. Okay, that did not go well. Huh? Okay, we gave him rot. Okay, I want to get far enough away to actually lay one of these down. Okay, we take those. Okay, we gave him frostbite again. That's good. Can I sidestep these? Yes, okay. Much weaker tracking than they used to have. Come on. Fuck. Dude. Let's go! Woo! I'm pretty sure we can get the Alexander Talisman rather than the shit one. Could expect just you wait. Mm. I guess we'll go we'll go underground right now. I am going to do a completely legitimate and not a dishonest strategy. Completely legitimate. Go get dummy thick. What? Oh, I'm out. It's rude. Hey, come here. good what the hell where where did that come from good okay i really wanted to get this one it seems like it seems like only one of them was willing to do the heal come on get there there we go, baby. Nah, it wasn't too bad. Oh yeah, they yeah, that's that is resistance right there. Holy shit. Good. Okay, I, I think I need more poise. I think that's the biggest issue here. All right, just 
heavy loaded up. Okay, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Really? All right. Nice. All right. Now I can progress through Solovis and Ronnie's questline to get a couple good talismans. By completing Solovis's quest, I get the Magic Scorpion Charm, which will buff magic damage by 13%. And even though you might think that Death's Poker does fire damage because it's called Ghost Flame, that's actually magic damage. And then, after progressing Ronnie's quest, I can go back to Liernia to pick up the Stargazer Heirloom. Now, I want to make my way into Deep Root Depths. My only options are fighting four gargoyles in Nokron or two Moogs in the sewers. I chose the sewers. On my way there, I picked up Moog Shackle and Roger's armor for an additional 8% buff to the Death's Poker weapon art. Not what I meant to fuck do, shit! My dear lord. Okay. And now we just gotta stay calm and beat the fucking boss. Just play it nice and safe. If I remember correctly, I think they're counted as bosses. I mean, we'll find out. They they might be counted as NPC summons. Maybe. Either way, I definitely want the poise here, I think. Nice. Let's see if they even get doubled. Because they're kind of like a weird in-between of a boss... Okay, they do. <laughs> They're weird in between of a boss and an NPC summon. Alright, there we go. Good. Well, this is... Weird looking. Nice. Leave me alone. I'm just trying. I'm trying to heal. That way I don't throw. As you do. <laughs> All right. Good start. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Well, this is not going to go well. Okay, maybe, maybe no rods. Oh my god. Shit. Oh, 
Okay. 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 So no rot. No rot. Yeah, we can we can do this. Shit, dude, I'm panic rolling. I'm out of FP. Oh no, dude. Oh my god. I couldn't see it, dude. This is the opportunity. Sick. Okay, here goes the phase two of the second one. There we go. On to Fire Giant. Let's see how it goes. obvious that I needed to be doing something different. So I experimented with as many strategies as I could. Ultimately, I decided that my best bet was to respec into a bolt of Grand Sex build. This, however, required me first to beat Renal. Okay, so we're doing a lot more damage now. Even though it is magic damage, which is kind of bad. Okay, that's the stronger one. Good. Ow. 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 Jesus fucking Christ. See, this was the issue. Now it becomes even more of a mess. <laughs> mm. Okay, zero healing, one Renala. Now that I could, I respect into a lot of dexterity to make the Ash of War on both of Grand Sacks as strong as possible. I leveled the weapon to plus nine, gathered the Lightning Scorpion Charm, the Dexterity tier, and the Lightning Damage tier to make the build better. 
After getting to phase two though, I realized Bolt of Grand Sacks is just too slow. So I decided to just play the slot machine and go for as much damage as I could as fast as I could with full deaths poker and essentially just have a damage race with the two fire giants. No way! And to think I could have just slammed Death's Poker from the beginning and probably get done with it faster. Now for Godskin Duo, I think it's Sleep Pots and just burn the fuck out of them. in here. <laughs> Flame of the Red Mains is a very good idea for Malekith. That going to the ground? Probably should have baited out the other move. I don't know. All right, here we go.
Okay, not as free as I wanted it to be. <laughs> okay, so is that rot going to kill him? I hope it does. That would make my life quite a bit easier if it did. Oh, Jesus. No. Okay, it's the one on the left. We're just keeping it a little bit spicy for the boys, you know? Normally, I would want bleed build up here so that it actually did damage. But this isn't the end of the world. Okay, I think he dies to rot. So I'm just going to be a bit and run away. Oh my God, he's not dead. Here we are doing like 200 damage a hit. <laughs> Since Gideon was being annoying, I decided to just one shot. I gathered Golden Vow for a 12% damage buff and Terra Magica for a 35% damage buff. If you didn't know, Terra Magica buffs all magic damage, not just sorceries. So, it works very well with Death's Poker. I'm really just trying to make him not heal, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, God, dude. Oh, Jesus. It does double lightning, dude. Okay. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Luckily, they don't have a lot of health. Got that going for us. Okay, there we go. This would probably be very difficult if they had more, more health. <laughs> But they do not. <laughs> All right. Now I think we have to go suffer through Nile. I'm hoping this is not going to be completely awful. So are they both? Did they both get charmed? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Unfortunate. Let's go. Love to see it. Uh, not what I wanted. Meant to be drinking this. 
but we will live. All right, there we go. Excuse, I just spawned in. Excuse me. My poise was better. The bold goat talisman. You just have to go grab it, right? Like you don't have to kill anything for it. And I see my poison here. It says 52. Is 52 enough? I don't know. We'll find out. Not what I wanted. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, that was our lucky break right there. All right, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of cute. Hmm. Yeah. I definitely have a better time with Great Serpent Spear, no doubt. I think the Serpent Hunter is one of the best weapons to fight Millennia with, so I went to go make a build for it. I respect into a high strength and high endurance build, gathered the strength talisman and the Dragon Crest Great Shield for even more physical resistance. All of that combined would make me very resistant to Millennia's attacks while still being very strong when attacking her. Okay, this is it's it's like a millennia 1v1 with a with a little bit of an extra extra hazard, you know? Nice. Love to see it. That's fine. Just eat it. Right. That's good. I'm gone. I'm out of there. I don't like that spot scaring me. Shouldn't have gone for that. It's okay. It's okay. We got we, we, we're fine. We're good. No worries. All right. This is a very stressful fight when I know I have to go back to fighting two. It's all right. I'll just hitless. How hard could it be? 
Okay, I'll just hit list from here on out. Next up is Placidisax, and he is going to require a lot of prep. I start by picking up the Silver Scarab to make farming for the Envoy's Longhorn a little bit easier. After that, I level the weapon to plus 10, gather the Envoy's Crown, which will buff my bubble damage by 15%, the Sacred Scorpion Charm since the bubbles do holy damage, and Merica's Sore Seal for some extra stats. No, come on. We're good there if he doesn't hit me with the direct lightning bolt. Motherfucker. Now it's time for Moog, who in a regular fight would probably be the worst fight of this run, but I think I have a way to make it a lot easier. I start by gathering the hidden Cerulean tier, Lusat's staff leveled to plus 10, and a respec into a heavy int build. Combined with Comet Azure, I think this should be fun. <laughs> Out of curiosity. I don't think Comet Azure is going to work on, on these guys. But I do want to check. <laughs> is this going to have the distance? Okay, not quite. We'll get there eventually. There he goes. <laughs> this should be the strat. I really don't want to put them into like phase 1.5. I, I, I only want one of them to get damage down to do this. I want the other one to stay as he is. Not what I was looking for. I jumped too early, dude. job of not choking. I'm not going to lie. I want to save some blue. I, I really don't need to save blue, but whatever. Jesus. 
So locking on is probably causing me issues. There is two moves that are scripted in Radigan's fight. The one where he does the stomp and the jump, he has to do that after you do about 4,000 damage to him. He has a really high preference to do that. The second move that's scripted is the, the triple slam move, which he has to do that about, once he's at about a third health. So if I reach those thresholds before he selects his move, we control exactly what he does for the whole fight. But I, I need to do that for both of them. Just stay synced up, bro. You hit me, bro. That wasn't the greatest thing in the world, though. Here we go. 